Narcos is back with a new aesthetic and cast of characters. The first season has just dropped, so I thought I'd discuss the finale and the real life events that inspired the show. There will be heavy spoilers, so if you haven't seen season 1 of Narcos Mexico, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. For everyone else, welcome to the channel. I'm Definition, and I ruin it so you don't have to. We follow DEA agent Kiki, played by Michael Peña. Kiki is an ambitious agent with his back against the wall that is trying to do good in the war on drugs. Like the season that preceded it, Narcos is based on actual events and a lot of what happens in the show happened in real life too. So if you've already googled the character then you've likely seen that he comes to a tragic end. But how did it all happen? Well throughout the show Kiki is tracking a drug trafficker named Felix Gallardo. In real life Felix was described as the Bill Gates of cocaine and his wealth was phenomenal. The show beautifully demonstrates how he was able to set the stage for the likes of Pablo Escobar and El Chapo. Throughout the show, Felix bribes and corrupts the US and Mexican government so that he's able to operate freely due to their corruption. He graduates from selling marijuana to cocaine and rises quickly through the ranks to become a kingpin. The show expertly highlights how people like Kiki were betrayed and sent to their deaths because of greed. Episode 10 climaxes with Kiki being tortured by Felix for information on the ins and outs of the anti-drug operations, but the character does not give in. In real life, Kiki was tortured at Gallardo's ranch over a 30 hour period before being killed. His skull, jaw, nose, cheekbones and windpipe were crushed. His ribs were broken and a hole was drilled into his head with a power drill. He had been injected with amphetamines and other drugs, most likely to ensure that he remained conscious while being tortured. It's a horrendous death that really forced the US government to realise that the Mexican police were corrupt and they began taking things into their own hands in order to avoid another high profile murder. Kiki's death had a huge impact on the war on drugs as it forced the US to really analyse the situation and to go above and beyond the confines of jurisdiction. Kiki's death really started the war on drugs and I absolutely loved the end of monologue that discusses that both sides are now fighting a battle at this level. The final scene showcases that the US is now using its own secret agents to infiltrate the country and take out the list of top drug traffickers at any cost. In real life, Felix was arrested in 1987, but it wasn't until 1989 that he was officially charged. Felix and his family were moved from city to city and enjoyed the benefits that the corruption amongst law enforcement gave them. The arrest of Felix really exposed the corruption and showcased just how deep it ran. Even behind bars, Felix was able to continue drug trafficking through the use of mobile phones. However, police managed to put a stop to this by moving him to a 240 by 440 centimeter cell in a maximum security prison. He was not allowed to leave this area and often complained that it was torturous. Felix still lives to this day, paying for the horrendous crimes he committed in order to become rich. The show doesn't capture this, but at least there's some solace in the fact that Kiki's death wasn't for nothing. So what are your thoughts on the new narco season? Did you expect the tragic ending and how would you rank this run against the other seasons? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and check out my breakdown of this week's other big TV finale, American Horror Story. This is a channel for people who are never missing television so if that's the kind of thing you like you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.